We're here on the roof of Home Savings and Loan with Steve Puhala. It's windy up here today, Steve. It certainly is. But we're not going to get blown away. We're going to climb this tower and get inside the clock, right? Yes, we are. We are here at Home Savings and Loan with Deb and Steve, and we are about to scale the ladders to the clock tower, a place that not very many people have been. And we are now at the top of Home Savings and Loan inside the clock tower. And I am here with Steve Puhala and several other witnesses that climbed up here. How are you doing today? Great, great. Now, I have a few questions I want to ask you. One, who's responsible for keeping the time correct on this clock? Oh, that's the time gnome that's up here regularly, so. Um, Actually, no, we have a maintenance staff that, that uh, maintains the clock regularly. And we also have a microprocessor-based computer in the basement that, that controls the, the time on the clock. So Now, I know that there was a time when there wasn't a microprocessing computer in the basement. How did it go then? That's true. They used to wind the clock by hand and there was a pendulum with a 2,000 pound weight on it and it was uh, wound weekly. Did it wind down? Oh yeah, it wound down and, and it didn't keep very very accurate time so it was decided to replace it. Did you get calls and things like the clock is oh, wrong today? You bet. <laughs> if I'm off two minutes uh, even today we get calls. So Steve, uh, what happens in daylight savings time? When the time changes in the spring, we spring ahead. So we go to that computer I mentioned earlier, and we go down and flip a little switch, and it, it, will, it will advance rapidly for 60 minutes. You mean if somebody was outside watching, they'd see the hands spin around? Oh, absolutely. It takes, a, it takes some time, but it probably takes about 10 minutes to gain an hour, but... That's still pretty fast. It's pretty fast. And in the fall, we do just the opposite. We turn the impulse off and just sit there and wait for an hour before it, uh, uh, before it catches up. Here I am, still up in the Tower of Home Savings and Loan, but now I am right next to a very large speaker. This speaker dongs the dong of the time of day. But years ago... And maybe not even that many years ago, it used to play music at designated times of the day, even seasonal music during like Christmas time. I'm glad it's not going right now. Now, Deb, yes. I know you were the first one out in the, the surround where the speakers are in the tower. What was it like out there? It was awesome. Um, I'm not afraid of heights, so if you are, I would recommend going up there. But um, it was just really cool to see just kind of the vista of the whole city from every side. And I took a few pictures up there, of course, but just seeing the stadium at YSU and, and you can see practically all the way to Boardman. It's, it's amazing out there. Ta -ta. 